The thing about archival video is that it goes backwards, preserving old materials and old moments in history. But it also goes forward uh, with the vision of other people in the future being able to see it for whatever use they have. Sometimes we can't even predict that. Um, the future is a subject that we're going to talk about today. It was the future as seen by Doug Michaels. Doug lived in the future, really. He used to say, the future is all there is. Today I want to pay tribute to him. He was a visionary, he was an architect, he was a planner, he was the hardest working guy making ideas and coming up with creative ideas that I've ever known. We'll start with one of the wackier videos with Doug in it. It comes from the Video Communication Unit, which is a creation of his own, um, and it was like a video letter to me, who he called Score. So check this out. Hey, score. Just a minute. I'm almost here, buddy. You guys go. Okay, you have that monitor. Okay. Okay, wait a second now. Okay. Okay, I'll be right. I'll go over there. So I'll go over there to the other side. Score? Score. Can you see him? Hey, score. Hey Tom. Hey Tom. Are you out there, man? Hey, hey Tom. Hey Tom. Are you out there, man? You think you can see him? I think he's too far out there. Can you see Chicago? You just can't get up on him, man. Hey Tom. Hey Tom. I tell you, it's right over there. Aloha. Hey, seriously, Tom. Aloha, man. Aloha. Tom? I don't know. How do you know if you're in contact? He doesn't say anything. He doesn't talk back. Hey, Tom, say something. They said it was going to be a live two way hookup. No, yeah. it's broke. It's bloody transmitter's broken. You know, you'd think that uh, these teleportation chambers would be better equipped. I don't even know if he's out there. Talk about interspecies communication. Doug was involved with dolphins and the mentality and communication of interspecies communication for many, many years. He was interested originally in, in the work of John Lilly, who was a pioneer in this area and thought that communication, interspecies communication, was a key to life on the earth and in space. So he designed several different incarnations of interspecies communication, a dolphinarium where dolphins lived, a movie, a video game, um, a major Hollywood film which he created, which never happened. One piece of video that has been made was a, an appearance that Doug made on television in Japan. It's a bizarre piece of video, a bizarre piece of television, and a wonderful example of who this guy Doug Michaels was. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Blue Star is the first think tank in space, a research laboratory study designed to study ideas in zero gravity. Blue Star has a sphere of water at its heart and research laboratories in a ring like Saturn surrounding it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you going to do in that language? Well, we're going to study the thought process liberated from gravity. So it's better than gravity. Yes, yes, we think uh, we'll think better in zero gravity and have better ideas. Well, I hope to go there in my lifetime in the year 2022 and、uh, think up a storm. Yes, and dolphins are a very important part of Blue Star. Dolphin sonar will be used to operate the computers in Blue Star by ultrasonic、uh, waves. イルカがですね、えー、あの先ほどのブルースターの宇宙センターの飛行士となりまして、えー、その,あの水中の,こうあの、えー、タンパやっぱりイルカはやっぱりどうしても好きなんですか、うん How is it that you like dolphins so much? I saw dolphins for the first time on TV on the TV show Flipper. And ever since I saw Flipper, I've liked dolphins a lot. Finally, let's take a look into the future. The year is 2025. This is Blue Star, a think tank in space. Blue Star looks something like a space donut. In the donut itself, a variety of laboratories and areas just set aside for thinking. In the donut hole, a huge sphere of water. And in the water, a supercomputer and a population of dolphins. The dolphins are there to program the computer acoustically with ultrasonic sound waves from their sophisticated sonar systems. Dolphins in space? Star Trek meets Flipper? Who dreams up such things? And where do they get their ideas? Well, this one started in Earth orbit. Astronauts aboard an early Skylab flight experimented with water droplets in zero gravity. In 1978, Doug Michaels, a space architect, saw this film. Blue Star was inspired by the NASA discovery that space water floats in perfect spheres and that the water sphere became the heart of the space station design. Since that time, new technologies have arisen to make Blue Star a reality. For example, acoustic levitation was invented by Taylor Wang, a scientist at the Jet Propulsion Lab.、Uh, current experiments on the shuttle use acoustic levitation to manipulate water spheres. In space, sonar guns aimed at the water sphere are able to manipulate the shape and position and frequency of the water sphere. It's a very important technology to realize Blue Star. Michaels concedes the technology for Blue Star still may be 40 years in the future. Whether you consider Blue Star a wild idea or a visionary concept, The project has been evolving for almost 20 years and now has new life as an interactive CD ROM game. A game that literally was dreamt up by Michael's friend, television director Joe Cortina. One night I had an incredibly vivid dream、uh, about a dolphin that took over Blue Star. I was floating through Blue Star spaces,、uh, swimming with the dolphins. And、uh, I woke up and did a painting of、uh, the dolphin that I had dreamt about,、uh, sent it to Doug, called Doug, and said we have to、uh, make something so other people can share Blue Star. And、uh, we made Blue Star. Well, a computer generated version, anyway. Done, Joe, Doug, and a team of computer artists at Magnet Interactive Studios in Washington, D.C. are creating the CD ROM game using three dimensional animation technology. The computer artists are putting actors into space, making dolphins that program computers, creating Doug's think tank in space, well, cyberspace. 
I think uh, kids that grow up playing Blue Star games will be very excited to visit the Blue Star Space Station when it's built. On their way to becoming science fact, many ideas begin as science fiction. Today, Blue Star is a video game. Tomorrow, who knows? Doug Michaels died when he was 59, just a month before his planned 60th birthday celebration. I want to read you quickly from the obituary in the New York Times. Doug Michaels, an architect and founding member of Ant Farm, a radical art and design collective of the late 60s and 1970s, died June 12th at Eden Bay near Sydney, Australia. He was 59 and lived in Houston. Mr. Michaels fell to his death while climbing to a whale observation point, said his father, Robert Michaels. Hard visionary futurist in the Buckminster Fuller tradition, hard Abby Hoffman-esque social prankster, Mr. Michaels taught at universities and from time to time worked for conventional architectural firms. But his most memorable efforts were devoted to what some might call the lunatic fringe of art and architecture. It was a moment that nobody expected that Doug would not be around to fulfill his ideas. And now it's six years later, more, and I suspect that some of his ideas and some of his, his brilliance will come forward in the future, which is of course why we're showing you these videotapes now. I don't know what to do. Hey Tom, listen, uh, we're coming back to the States in a few days, and look, I just want to say aloha. <laughs> aloha, man.